Black Forest Games. Uh, and I did uh, for the porting of Jana to Xbox, I did a lot of testing for it. So yeah. Hi. So my name is Flavien, Flavien Brideau, and I'm a tech programmer uh, at Black Forest Games. Hi, I'm Stefan Schmitz, called Schmitty. Uh, I'm a web designer and audio designer at Black Forest Games and working as a vision keeper for Geonesis as Twisted Dreams. Yeah, my name is Andreas Feist, I'm a technical artist at Black Forest Games. So I'm a tech programmer, so I'm working on the engine, uh, so for PC, for PS3, for X360, uh, so for the ports. Um, basically, I got the, the, the game working on the 360, but at a very low frame rate, and I had to optimize uh, the game so that it runs at 30 frames per second. So roughly at the beginning, we were at around 10, 15 frames per second, and I had to optimize uh, the GPU and the CPU, so all the, the systems, uh, so that they run faster. For, uh, for Jana systems, like I said, it's just simply reducing the textures. For some other projects, you have to reduce also the meshes themselves. Um, sometimes also some light lighting radius. If you have a point, if you have a light somewhere, the radius needs to be reduced so the computation time is faster. These kind of things. Uh, I was I was converting I was converting um, Genesis to this wave audio into the form it's used for the Xbox 360. So I was using the XF2 from from the Microsoft Xbox 360 console to create XMAs, um, the audio format used by the Xbox 360. Okay, normally we would just get a new version from our, our programmers who, who do basically do the porting because they have to, to port the code to, to the Xbox stuff. And then we get a version for our dev kits from the Xbox and then we just test it and make a lot of bug reports because things aren't working anymore and something broke and stuff. And uh, yeah, then we just bounce it back to the programmers and then it's of course of like they give us new versions, we test them again, check the bugs it back and forth until we have a, a stable version and uh, yeah well then we submit it and hopefully it comes back and say yay the audio the audio conversion in general is a relatively fast process so i just come uh, just uh, import everything into the exact two then uh, check if everything uh, if, if the compression formats i choose are of good quality and still very small and when this process is done and i'm basically uh, happy with the data, I give it over to the programmers and they do the rest. Uh, for, for one playthrough I take like five, five hours, four to five hours with all reports and stuff. Uh, yeah, some, some things take a little bit longer, especially if you have to, th uh, to test special cases and just like, okay, then you have some things to test, like you don't only have to play through the game, but you have to, ch for example, test loading time. So I have to load and unload every level. Uh, in every mode we had and this took like a whole day just to test and check the times and stuff like this. You can optimize a game for a year or but here we only we spent something like three weeks to uh, to optimize for the 360 uh, so we had to optimize all the, the the graphics the physics the game logic uh, because yeah, the, the game was mainly developed on PC and so we didn't had all the constraints in mind. I think we had like 50 versions for for uh, the X Xbox port. Yeah, I think it was like 50. And it's actually trying to maintain the quality that you have in your on your main platform and bringing it over to the to the other platforms um, as good as possible. So, like for porting from a PC to a Xbox, for instance. Uh, uh, we just had to reduce the textures because you have to consider the limitations the Xbox has but also uh, things like the player won't sit half a meter in front of the TV so you can reduce the texture sizes a little bit more. Uh, the most crucial thing is not to break things <laughs> because yeah so to optimize sometimes we have for instance for the, the graphics part we have to decrease the quality but we don't want to drop quality too much uh, comparing to the PC version, uh, so that's something we want to avoid, but sometimes we don't have the choice. Um, and the other 
part is not to break things. So, for instance, on the gameplay, the gameplay code was uh, quite quite heavy uh, at the end uh, because it was developed on the PC, and on PC everything is fast. But the 360 is a eight years old uh, computer, so <laughs> comparing to the nowadays PC, it's really, really slow. Yeah, the memory on the Xbox is quite limited, so we have to squeeze in a lot into tiny bits. Uh, well, I guess if we don't find major bugs that that are there, like cr the game crashes every five minutes and we miss it because <laughs> we end it after four every time, then yeah, well, that would be pretty shitty. Well, um, not choosing a compression format that is too small because then the quality of the audio is, is reduced and uh, you can really feel and hear that. So you'll find have to find a balance for every for every single piece of, 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 of sound uh, to make it sound good, but still compress it small enough so that it's not eating up a lot of memory on the Xbox. And there, there, um, especially for for the consoles, you have special uh, TCRs that you that you have to to fulfill. For example, the loading times that we that we had before, it's a TCR that no loading screen is about uh, uh, longer than sixty seconds without anything going on, so, um, so or. 15 seconds, is if, so you can have 15 seconds loading times and if nothing is going on and uh, everything above has to be something uh, on the screen. So we had to, um, for example, add the, the, uh, the help messages that we have now on the loading screen. We had to add them so something is going on and the player has something to do. And even this isn't uh, um, allowed to be more than 60 seconds. So we had to take care of that because our loading times were hellishly long at first. I think thinking that it's as easy as pressing a button, I think this is the most misconception of the whole process. Um, there's a lot more involved in there, so um, a lot of work is going into that process. A lot of optimization work to make it work as good as on the PC, for example, when you port it from PC over to, uh, to the Xbox 360 or the PS3. And um, it's even getting more complicated when you have to port it for different platforms, so even different platforms at the same time. It's really this, what you see is what you get. It's, it's not the case. I mean, for, for getting to this stage, you really need to work on it. And once you're at that stage, you, it's really what you see is what you get. So you can click one button and you see it on the other platform. But uh, initially, it takes some time just to get it running on, on the other platform. Yeah, okay, on, on one hand, uh, on one hand it's, it's pretty awesome that people are, are so excited about the game and, and want to see it on all kinds of platforms because, well, hell yeah, we want that too, but um, it's just like you have to um, just calm them a little bit down because we, are, we have to get man, people to do that actually, <laughs> so <laughs> please we try to do that, but give us some time to actually do it, and yeah, but most people understand it and prepare them, so... So for instance, I'm a Linux user, I would love to see Jana on Linux, but I know that we have to spend time and money on, on it, and we, unfortunately, we have to think about the, the, the real size on markets on each platform, and is it worth to, to spend time, and do we, can we make money of this at the end? I guess that you just go to Microsoft and say, hey, here's my game, just put it on there, and there's not so much stuff stuff involved with, for example, now, yeah, okay, we had the Jana game, but it was still, still lots and lots of work just to port it, and I think some people have the impression that you just, yeah, okay, you have the game, you just can just say, okay, now play it on Xbox, and it works well, no, it doesn't. Yeah, if it's possible to make it work on that platform, yeah, why not, but it just doesn't depend on if we want to do it but it, if it's also m if it's making sense or not because porting porting it to uh, ios for instance uh, will take a lot of effort because you can't have all the systems run on that on that small platform so it just de really depends on the effort you have to put in to make it work are you excited to see gianna on xbox Oh yeah, sh hell yes. I want I want to really play it on the Xbox 360 and I want to play it on an Xbox 360 that is not one of our dev kits and see what the what the Xbox playing crowd is thinking out there. I think I think platformers are at home at consoles basically. So um, we we're we're PC producers at, at, base, uh, at our hearts 
uh, but we're also console gamers, and so we often took part this to these uh, great, to these great machines. And I really hope that the crowd there, which is the core crowd of platformer gaming, will enjoy the game uh, as a PC crowd did. And 